Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Vita 1.0. We are jumping in again this time with the sniper rifle and we're jumping in with I think it was hot chocolate and the glass hammer as well. So let's see. We're on to shard 3. Enemy's movement speed is increased by 10%. It's gonna get a little spicy. We're gonna go with the key um, and let's have a look. Let's see what else we can get here. Shows you what we like to expect in big chests. Shooting enemies will reduce dash cooldown. Increase the chance of finding a pickup after clearing a room. Get a relic hammer. Two orbitals have a chance to break. And a big shield that protects you from damage and reflects bullets. Ooh. Um, I think this time we'll just go with the strainer. And we will confirm on that and start out our run. We do have the sniper here. A new weapon that I haven't used before. I'm excited to see how it performs. This is a new weapon to 1.0 as well. It's not, it's not just... Um, not just new to me, it is new to the game. Seems really good so far. Like, I think, for, for me at least, range is pretty huge. We've got a secret room there. Range is pretty huge in this game. Uh, also, does it have piercing? Maybe? Give me a shield. I think it has piercing. Get ourselves a secret room here as well. The fire rate, obviously, could due to be better but we'll see we'll try and go to the b floor as well if we can oh god yeah the fire rate makes destroying stuff like that so much harder also not okay it doesn't have piercing i'm not really sure how to find secret rooms effectively with this thing i think this is our secret room here still though yeah the damage is awesome obviously you've got the multi-wave rooms here ah unfortunate it's okay though, it's only an armor hit. We can we can handle it. We can handle it. Let's charge up that. He jumped over both my shots, you cheeky bastard. I think this is our secret room here. Yes, it is, it is. I got it. Find those by the, the bullet not passing through the wall at all. It's kind of hard to spot. Uh, Alexa taught me that trick. And we're going to jump on through, grab a bit of that, grab a bit of that. Beautiful. And we'll see what we want to do here. Uh, familiar that shoots bullets. Pretty decent. Increased range and damage. Increase. I'm going to go with fire rate. I think we need fire rate. Even a 15% is, is pretty damn good. I really like the way it, instead of everything just having its own stats, it's all based off of the base weapon stats. So we can see that we start with like a minus 40% fire rate on this thing. And we start with a plus 70% damage really cool to see and we get a celestial weapon early on which is incredible and unfortunately yet again we got the hook i really am not a fan of the hook i, I think it's just a case of me needing to get better with it more than anything but at least for right now i'm not very good with it <laughs> okay but it is, it is potentially pretty good to be fair grab that soul as well Beautiful. There's just so much soul available to us here. Okay, I expected to one-shot the fly. I didn't. That kind of scared me a little bit. This is nuts. If we could get that, that synergy we had last time where, like, everything crits, it would be nuts with this setup. That, that was crazy. But, I'm yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited by the sniper. Sniper seems like it could definitely be, like, one of my new favorite weapons. I will say, I feel like on bosses, it's going to be nowhere near as good. Um, just because slow fire, it tends to not be great on bosses. But at least it's not as slow as, remember, when we got the shotgun and had, like, insanely slow fire rate. Unfortunately, that's a new room, actually. That's a, that's a, new, a new room there. But unfortunately, we don't have a key to get into it, so we're going to have to skip it for now. Already dealing 19 damage a shot. And that's another 10% damage. Wow. Another 10% on top. That's kind of crazy. Right. One moment. Let's pummel on. I'm sorry if that uh, blocks your screen there. I'm just going to buy a key this time around. Let me just pause one sec. Right, let's continue onwards. Yeah, I'm just going to take the key for now. Yeah, I may maybe maybe I just I'm not very good at the Scarby hook. By the way, just a reminder once again, that was the worst hit of damage I've ever taken in my life. Um, just a quick reminder for you guys, uh, just so you know, I I have I am pre-recording at the minute. This is the day of release, so there's probably some comments you guys have left giving me some info on certain things that I'm not taking into account yet. I do apologize about that. Um, 
Right. Another secret unlocked. Nice. The locksmith. I'm guessing that's just unlock so many doors. Grab our chest here and see what we might get. Something fire rate related. We keep getting the Tiki Torch. Tiki Torch has been a pretty common one. By the way, I didn't actually check. Um, we started with the hot chocolate, which is an increase in damage. That's a pretty good one. The glass hammer. That's a chance uh, for getting relics for breaking chests. Ah. That's only 40% as a base, but that... If we put some, um, put some upgrades into that, that could be really good. 20 damage a shot. I'm in love. And we're on to our boss. We are on to the boss. Let's go. Why is my screen black? Okay, there you go. It's, for, for some reason, when I tab out, my screen goes black. Okay, do you know what? I tell I told a lie. This is actually really, really good against a boss. I mean, we did start off with bonus 20% damage, and we gained quite a lot of damage already, but even still. This is doing a nice amount of work here. But by, by the way, one thing to note with the Scorpio hook thing that I said about, it does give you contact immunity while you're using it. Uh, so it is pretty useful in that regard. So I maybe should try and use it to, like, get out of the way of stuff. Like, we can do that there. To, like, move. But this guy does scale with, with speed, so... He scales with our speed, so it's not like I can dash to the side of the room and he won't chase me. He will. But he's almost dead. And that was close. There we go. We actually flawless him. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Right. More damage. Our damage is absolutely cracked right now. I'm probably gonna go. Okay, let's let's make sure we go B floor. I'm probably gonna go um really hard on some upgrades here and upgrade uh, my fire rate a little bit. I think more fire rate's just crazy damage output for this. Also, do we want to get rid of any items? I actually kind of think we want to... Um, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. Because Tiki, Tiki Torch is fine, but with a sniper, it's not all that good. Um, and then next floor, I might even get rid of the Glass Hammer. Because at least for us right now, it's not all that good. So, for this, we could go up to 15% chance to find... I think... Okay, a flat 10% damage up's great. And then a 5% fire rate upgrade is really good too. So, we'll, we'll just take those two for now. We'll heal up and be on our way. Pretty happy with all of that. Let's carry on going through. Uh, one second. Right, let's continue onwards. Let's carry on. Someone just won a free copy of Revita for watching the podcast that I did with Ben Star and BD1P. Ooh, wait, what are these dudes? Ah, he got really close. Oh, they just like drop honey on the floor. Interesting. God damn, having this much range is insane. Yeah, th having this much range is re... The, the sniper seems like it's going to be a top tier weapon. Top, top tier. Okay. Careful against these guys, but with this range, we can just kind of, like, sit up here. I love this. <laughs> I really love this floor, by the way. I've just got to say, I think this floor is amazing. Keep on going through. Still don't know how to get through that door. Damn it. This is going to be a bit of a tricky room. Yep. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to get hit there. Just these big bo these big boys are just looming over us at all times. Just remember, we can do stuff like this. Should also be looking for secret rooms if I can find them, but I'm not too good at that. Right, right, right. So we could take that. I don't think we really need that. Honestly, both of these aren't amazing, but this one isn't corrupted, so I'm going to take it. I love the fact on this floor you just get a free item. Okay, so we'll take care of the easier enemies first here. Trying to get rid of, uh, catch all the souls as I can. Oh, I just found a secret room there by accident. I didn't realize they could spawn this high up. Give me that soul. No, I missed it. How? 
Yeah, there's a secret room right here, look. Cheeky. Didn't think they'd spawn that high up, but good to know. I always seem to get a lot more health when going this to this floor as well. I, I, I apologize about all the pausing. I'm trying to organize this person's uh, free copy because they just won it while I'm recording. So I'll be right back. Let's continue onwards. Press forwards. But yeah, these, th this floor seems to be very lucrative for us. Careful of these dudes. They fire a lot of shots. So be very careful of them. The damage is popping. Get a chest here. Unfortunately, no. We can't get a chest. We don't have a key. This game has a real problem, at least for me, for just giving me no keys. But then again, I feel like I'm already quite powerful. Like, if it gave me a bunch of keys, I'd probably be a bit too strong. So that's, that's fair. Hello, slime. How are you, small fella? How are you? But yeah, I am I am batch recording quite a lot of episodes right now. Just because I'm binging day one of Revita. I really want to play it a lot. I'm going to stream it later on today as well. Obviously, for you guys, it'll have been a little while ago that I streamed it. But I want to stream it a bit as well just because I want to play it a lot. And the game has so much late game content that, like, I feel like if I don't play it a lot, it's, it's going to take me forever to get to any of the late game content. So, I really want to play it a lot and try and get as much of that as I can. Still no key, unfortunately. So we missed out on both the chests this floor. Which is annoying, because I have Glass Hammer as well, so I could have destroyed the chests. Good. My lord. We are getting some soul pop in here. I don't know, maybe these enemies just reward more soul. Because I feel like I'm getting a ton right now. I'm two or three shotting most enemies as well, which is pretty awesome. And there we go, we finally got a key. A little bit too late, but at least, at least here we get to uh, grab a curse chest. And this is great. Um, souls disappear quicker, souls will take some... Souls will take some of your souls when vanishing. I can I can deal with that. Um, increase critical hit chance, 10%. If we upgrade that a little bit, that's going to be very good. We'll try and flawless this guy this time. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. This guy, he seems to be a little tricky, but we do have a lot of damage, so... Yeah, this attack's fine, especially with range. It's this one that I'm really not good at yet. Because he kind of dives at you. This one's absolutely fine. Like, I don't, I'm only ever going to get hit by that if I'm, like, directly underneath him or something. The more you do this, the better it's going to be for me, dude. You're already past mid-stage. There you go. That's the one I can't really deal with. Damn it. I, my dash was still on cooldown. I got close. In fact, I think I'm going to have flawless him if it wasn't for that hit. That's a real shame. Yeah, I would have done. Oh, so close. So close. But more soul meter, more damage. All good. Right. I think we'll probably double upgrade. I'm going to get rid of my glass hammer and double upgrade my... Um, my crit chance, I think it goes up to 20%, and I think that's pretty good. Not quite 100%. Oh, wait. No, we don't get an upgrade this floor. Um, keep it up to doubled, and you get one key. Orbital that is close range and deals high damage. Let's just go with this for now. In fact, let's go for both. Yes. Two very good orbitals that sync up with each other. That should be really good. Yeah, I think we can afford the health trade-off right now. We've got enough HP. It's Mainly for me, it's if I've got armor, then I'm sort of good to take some risks. And I do. God damn, that, that cursed guy was taking forever to die. Let's just check for a secret room real quick before I kill this guy. I think this might be a secret room here. Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, I don't use the orbitals all that much in this game, but if you can get, if you can line them up with the boss, especially, they, they do a, they do a number on them. Thirty-four on a crit, nice. 
beautiful. I think one of the greatest things about having all this range is I can start actually shooting enemies before they aggro. I can start hitting enemies before I get close enough to, like, have them aggro. I still don't know what this does, the greed. I'm still going to do it, but I, I don't actually know what it gives me. Maybe it gives me keys. I don't know. But, like, this guy, he can't do anything to me from that range. More damage. Beautiful. I don't know if this is us getting rewarded from the uh, extra drops at the end of rooms on room clear uh, thing that we got going on. Get some soul back when buying something that costs HP. Shoot an extra bullet. Yep, definitely. That will be incredibly good if we can get to full HP. I don't know if we'll be able to do it this floor. We might be able to, actually. We've been getting a lot of soul. I think if we just don't trade away too much HP. Do we still have the glass hammer? Let me check. We do. I think we should break this. I don't want to trade my HP away right now. I'd rather just get soul and potentially an item. There you go. Fireworks. Nice. Fireworks is really good. Wait, is fireworks? No, fireworks is not the one I'm thinking of. I thought it was the one we had the other episode. That's still really good. Oh, yeah, it literally fires missiles when we die. Okay, that's also really good. Beautiful. You're all dead. And honestly, I think we might be able to get to full HP before the boss here. We've got quite a few rooms left, actually. Ooh, these small rooms, especially with enemies like this, can be problematic. But do not, do not fret, do not fear. I'm not going to take the temptation of the shop. I really would rather just get to full HP and stay there. Oh, there is another one of these big dudes below us. I didn't actually see that dude. It's okay, though. He's pretty easy. I just didn't notice he was there. Thank you. We do have one of these challenge rooms here. I'm tempted by this. Do you know what? I'll do it. I know it costs HP, but... It could reward us with extra damage. So we just got to pick a chest. Doesn't matter which one we pick. And we got... Oh, we got Firecracker. Now this is the one I was thinking of. Now we get the split shots that we had before. Okay, so we got Firecracker and Firework. We got the one I thought I was thinking of and the one I was actually thinking of. I don't know how good it'll end up being just because of the, the range that we have. If we get piercing, it'll be very good, but I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I have to stand at a very specific range to make it work, but it's still a good, um, good item to have nonetheless. Another shield. This is crazy. Okay. We didn't quite get to full HP before the boss, but we got close. I'm going to try and maybe use my orbital a little bit here because I think it will do insane damage if we can get it to work. We're doing good damage already. Okay, to be fair, I don't actually think we need it. We're doing really good damage as it is. He's scaring me a little bit, I will say. I wonder if we do more damage if we hit all the split shots. I don't know. If we like, you know, like hit exactly where it splits and get all three shots in. Okay, I think we're good now. I think we got the kill. There you go. We got the flawless, beautiful. The only thing is, this now puts us further away from being at full HP. But then again, it's more maximum HP to trade, actually, so... Heal up that. I don't know why I healed up that. I shouldn't have done. But we are now at max HP. The sniper's great. We're sitting pretty right now. Right, let's take a look at what we want to upgrade. Probably, I don't know, actually. Let's have a look. So, wait a minute. First of all, 
Let's actually see if we want to remove anything. We can only remove one pair floor now, so... I think glass hammer's, like, first up on the chopping block, I'll be honest. It's, like, good, but it's it's not amazing. A 40% chance I don't think it's going to be crazy good. Um, so let's have a look. That would increase up to 40%, 1.5 hearts. That would cost two forge hammers, so we can't do that. Um... I think we go up to there and then do that. Beautiful. And now we're technically at full HP. Extra crit chance I think is going to be great for us. And I think we're going to stomp this run, I'll be honest. Also, we're firing two shots now, which split into even more shots. So Things about to get pretty, pretty, pretty wild. With all this armor as well, we should be at full health for a long time. Unless we trade it away. Which, honestly, I'm only going to trade HP away now if it's going to be a very sort of decent long-term benefit. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it. Oop, another NPC. Nice. Obviously, we don't need to be full HP until, like, the, the bosses, really. So we can trade it early. Which NPC we will unlock this time? Who shall it be now? Hey, this guy's great. I was just about to free myself in an act of stunning heroic... Heroic... Hero... Heroic... I can't pronounce that word. Hero... Herotics. Hero... Is it herotics? I, I can't read. I am dyslexic, so that's fair. <laughs> like, I do know that I can't read, so... I'm not going to judge myself too harshly on not being able to read. Extra keys, great. And that gave us two keys as well. I forgot about that. So like this, I will check it, but it would have to be something that's really good like that for me to take it. <laughs> I will take piercing every single day. Not only is this incredible just generally, but we've now got the same combo we had before, which is kind of incredible because this is, seems like a rare combo to get. There's a secret room. And now that we've got this much damage, we should really get to full HP pretty swiftly. And especially when you get a full heart for free, even quicker. But now, the shots are still going to split regardless of whether we hit them with the first shot or not. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. And also, we should be able to hit multiple enemies. I see you, ghosty boy. I see you. I will check the chest. It's like, I might destroy it, depending. I'll, I'll, I'll... No, if it's a rare one, I'll definitely take it. Grants a shield at the start of the floor. One moment. Let's continue onwards. Yeah, I gotta say, rare chests are kind of a must-take. Okay, we gotta shoot a thing above me. Is that you that's doing that? It most certainly is. Oh, there's still more of you, heck. I did not realize. I'm loving this with a sniper. Another shield. Honestly, I will definitely trade my celestial weapon, 100%. I do not like the one I have right now. I very rarely use it. And we got one that is redonkulously powerful. It might have got nerfed. Honestly, I don't know what's been, like, uh, changed in the updates, but... At least before, this one was ridiculous. It just fires a bunch of piercing shots that, like, bounce around the room. But it charges really fast, and they, they, they bounce and pierce a lot. God damn it. Not mean to get hit there. Okay, I think we're up to full HP now, so now we're firing twice the shots, baby. This is going to be incredible damage. Yeah, this is going to be kind of nuts. I'll check out the shop. I don't need to stay at full HP all the time because that damage without it is pretty good. So if we see something that's worthwhile, I'll trade it. Gives three keys. Uh, chance to get a relic hammer when upgrading a relic. Ooh, do you know what? I'll take that and a key. Beautiful. 
We might even be able to get to full HP before the boss still. Another shield. And we got a challenge room, which pretty much guarantees we get to full HP. Challenge rooms always give you quite a lot of soul. This is a great run. I'm, I, I just love this game. I'm enjoying myself so much right now. Yeah, I kind of knew I was going to get hit there because that's a cursed boy, but it's what it is. So much piercing action. I think this is just survive 30 seconds, so it's just an onslaught of enemies. There's no real limit to how many are going to spawn until the time is up. Okay, we've got four seconds left. Beautiful. There's our soul. And we got an item that is corrupted, but chance to gain HP when defeating enemies. Only a 2%, but still. I think that's pretty good. So let's see weapons charge slower. I don't know why we didn't get a choice there. Normally we should get a choice. But honestly, charging slower, it's not great, but it's not that bad. Now it's time to lose almost all of our armor. Doesn't matter how strong I am, I always bumble on this dude. As long as we don't lose red health, I'll be fine. He's into second phase already? What? Wow. We annihilated him. Okay. Easy flawless on depression there. Wasn't expecting that. Give me his memento. It's a bit annoying that it doesn't give you a filled one, but I also understand why it doesn't. Right. I think we probably want to double upgrade fireworks at this point. Or firecracker, is it called? Wait. First of all, let's, let's remove an item. I keep always clicking this guy first. So, let's get rid of... Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the, this one here, yeah. It's like fine, but I don't really need it. So let's go with one upgrade on Firecracker and two upgrade on Firecracker. Honestly, I'll just go with one, one upgrade on Fireworks as well. I can't, I, the rune isn't even big enough for the range of this thing for me to see. What's going on? But yeah, we, we have some crazy stuff going on right now. Hey, here he is. Hello. Tell me what's new, heroin. Is that heroin? I don't know. Uh, none you say. No matter. Perhaps if you hunt down and um, hunt down a crowned beast most foul and give me credit for that kill, that will get them talking. Sure. So basically, he gives us like hunt quests for champion enemies. Beautiful. Right. Oh my god, we one-shot that dude. We're just getting some ridiculously OP builds right now. It's the tail look. I, I'm so lucky in play when I play roguelikes. It's kind of ridiculous, really. I will most definitely go for this. I'll even open this. I, I don't care. We don't need to be at um, full HP until the boss. Familiar, dude. Just make sure we are at full HP for the boss. The more, more jammed enemies, the better here. So this we probably won't bother taking. Let's weapons charge faster. Bosses start with less HP. Increase all stats a little bit. All good stuff, but I'm sorry. Nothing quite compares to literally double damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that key just dropped. That was, that was really confusing there. I didn't realize the platform was one of those droppable ones. Hello, sir. Yeah, I think the jammed ones of them just hit every enemy in the room. Wait, that one's still invincible. Damn it, I'm stupid. <laughs> it's okay, we're only losing armor there. 
We can deal with armor loss. We even got some damage up there as well. That locks door again. Maybe it just costs more keys than normal. Nope. I, I don't really know how to activate them. I'm sure I'll have to find out what the comments will tell me. I'll find out through Alexa's videos or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, here's the champion boy. Champion boys have like different attacks and can teleport and stuff. Obviously have more HP as well, but the HP is not really a big issue to us, is it? Um, deal damage when picking up soul. That was pretty good last time, actually, when we had that. Okay, we're almost at the boss. Honestly, the boss is going to get annihilated. The sniper is such a good weapon. Shop, I'm not even bothered. My build is already good. I'm already happy with the, <laughs> the crazy damage we're dealing right now. Beautiful. And this is the boss. This is the boss. We get a curse chest. I'll take it because there's not many curses that could ruin a run at this point. We got shades. Increased shot prices. That works for me. Enemy bullets are slower. That's so useful. Oh my god. That's such a good one to get this late in. Right. Sir, you are big dead. Especially when I start using my Celestial. Look how, because I'm doing so much damage, look how fast my Celestial weapon charges. Even though I have a curse that makes them charge slower. Oh my god. This is, that's nuts. We might even be able to flawless this dude. I don't know if we will. It's going to be kind of hard. This, the second phase, no matter how fast I kill him, I always seem to fuck up somehow. But the range that we have right now is crazy. I'm trying my hardest right now. I really am. We got him. We flawless the final boss. Oh my god, that's awesome. That should be an unlock, actually. A secret or something, I think. Beautiful. Absolutely annihilated. Apparently Shard 5 is where stuff starts getting real tough. So we're getting close. And we got another note. What the hell's this? I don't know what that is. It almost definitely means something, so I'm going to screenshot it. <laughs> and I'm going to post it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to post it in gaming, so I don't forget in my Discord. Cool. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, because this is a pretty, pretty crazy one. We'll end off the run here and uh, get our stuff ready for the next episode. I always like to prepare my stuff for the next episode. Just so um, I don't forget when I start the next one. Because obviously, at the minute, I'm playing runs back to back to back. But if, if I like have a day break between them, I could easily forget or whatever. So let's first of all check the weaponry out. See if there's any other new weapons about. We got the blast gun, which is... I, that, that one's actually pretty good. We'll probably get that. We also got the orbit gun. That's new. Interesting. Before we buy anything, though, I do want to quickly check out other areas of this crazy old place. Hello, sir. It's just that. Surprisingly hard to explain. Give us a flower, boy. Just a few gifts here. The crossroads. And we get bargaining's mask. Nice. Blueprints. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got Crossroads um, lets you encounter crossroad rooms which have multiple sides to exit. Honestly, I think shop expansion is also really good. I think we should go for crossroads as early as possible. I need to unlock this at some point. I'll maybe do that on stream. Right, good, good. Pass on through. And let's see what we got here. 
So let's let's go with let's have a look. Let's go with mini missile and metal detector. And then I think honestly I think I'm gonna go and trade some of these to get a new weapon. Do that again. And then buy the blast gun. Nice. We can also, apparently there's like some secret you can do with these at some point as well. I don't know. I don't know. There's some, apparently there's some secret you can do with these. We'll see if we can spend our remaining currency. But yeah, this is the blast gun. Just a laser gun. This, this one got a load of new synergies in 1.0, so I'm excited to see those. Right, what else can we get for four? Five, A, A, three. Okay, let's just do that one then. Beautiful. And, ooh, you've got another thing for us here. Thank you. Guiding light. Nice. We go back through and we'll get ready for our next run. And we have another shard. Let's just quickly check what the shard is. Shard 4. Enemies from later areas appear in the current. Ooh, that's spicy. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys in the next one.